Uh, good evening, um, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I am CH2, the Assistant Dean of Dental Research, Innovation and Enterprise, as well as the Deputy Director of the Knowledge Exchange Unit of the University of Hong Kong Faculty of Dentistry. Knowledge Exchange, or we call KE, was added to the Hong Kong U Mission of Research and Teaching and Learning in 2009. So Hong Kong U staff are now expected to be able to perform KE and to share best KE practices with the students. This means that all staff and students should be able to use academic knowledge in the real world. For our faculty, this could take the form of technology transfer, community service related to dentistry, performing all health education, uh, talking about dental practice and research to the media, influencing government and company policies, or linking with industry, NGOs, and other professionals. The goal of KE is to achieve mutual benefit so that there is a positive impact both for the non-academic community and for the university staff and the students. To encourage KE, the government has allocated funds to all universities in Hong Kong and Hong Kong U has created grants for staff impact projects. And extracurricular activities of KE projects for students, they are, these are uh, for projects in the community but not directly as a part of a research or teaching and learning activity. They can be indirectly related to this, however, such as application of research knowledge. Hong Kong U also encourage collaboration with external KE partners to jointly create well-planned, practical and sustainable projects with lasting impacts. To share the knowledge further, Useful tools and materials can be shared with the public online by website or on social media. We have such a blog site inside the faculty Facebook page. We hope that in time, both the faculty, staff impact projects and student KE project will ena enable the faculty to form long-standing two-way relationship with community KE partners and long-term KE strategies to reflect excellence in both the quality of the knowledge content and the quality of the exchange process. The faculty now has a developed school anti-caries program serving more than 100 kindergartens as well as projects to enhance secondary school with dental examples. I encourage more students both undergraduates and postgraduates, and including the Student Dental Public Health Committee, now they are having a meeting there, uh, on the other room, to apply for Hong Kong U Student KE grants, which are typically $20,000 for each project. The next round of application will begin very soon. The project can be taken in between uh, October and the following June. Teams need to have a minimum of three students, a faculty mentor, and an external external KE partners, uh, the NGO or, uh, or a professional body. Our staff are very keen to be your KE mentors, and the faculty KE unit will give you practical help for application. I congratulate the faculty first two student group that won the KE grant in 2012. Tonight, they will be giving an account of the experience and offer tips on applying for the grants. We are especially pleased to also welcome representatives from the KE partners of the project. They are Mr. Ken Lee, okay, thank you, from the Hong Kong Federation of Youth Group, and Ms. Lee Tuck Ping and Ms. Alice Choi from the Chan Yuk Hospital. So, thank you for coming. Uh, please let me or the KE unit know if you still have any questions about the scheme after tonight.